A Sioux Falls native was in the national spotlight yesterday as she played in the NCAA National Volleyball Championship game. Bergen Riley, who graduated from O'Gorman, is now the starting setter for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And as you're about to see, she has a big fan base here in Sioux Falls as they all got together to cheer her on. Thanks, Bergen Riley. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. It's incredible. I think we all knew that she was going to be successful. Um, at Nebraska. Mitch Lunny, the director of the Kairos Volleyball Club, coached Bergen Riley since she was nine years old. He attended the semifinal game in Tampa when Nebraska beat Pittsburgh to get to the national championship. It was unbelievable to see how many Nebraska fans um, traveled all the way down to Tampa. I mean, it was it was like, it felt like 80, 90% of the building was cheering for Nebraska. Lunning organized this watch party yesterday because some of these girls played with the three-time Gatorade Player of the Year and now NCAA Setter of the Year. It's the coolest thing. I'm super proud of her and I'm so happy for her because if anybody deserves it, it's her. She's worked super duper hard and she has just put in so much time and effort. So I'm super happy to see her up there. Samantha Unteed of Huron Lake Okabina, Minnesota, played with Bergen for about six years and will continue her volleyball career next year at Louisville. She, along with others, all say the same thing. Bergen was a great mentor to them and is helping elevate the level of play in South Dakota. It's amazing. I'm so excited for her. Could not be more proud of her as just someone who's grown up watching her, kind of idolizing her. This is amazing. When you see somebody like Bergen, who is just making so many strides for our club and for our state and like representing us at the national level at the championship game, it's really inspiring to all the players here to just know that like we can also achieve that if we put in the work. And unfortunately, things didn't go Nebraska's way. They got swept 3-0 by Texas.